What are you? What are you? What are you? And you've probably heard this a lot, but... What, what are, are you? you? It's a lot to have someone ask you about your whole identity when you're just existing. Where are you from? Where are you from? No, like, where are you really from? I remember one moment where, <laughs> when I was little... I think I was in middle school, and I kind of always assumed I was white. I literally had a moment when I was just lying awake in bed at night and I pieced together that, oh my god, wait a minute, you're not white at all. It wasn't even until I was in high school that I really realized that I was biracial because I had been prescribed um, the black girl or African American for so long. You're African? Aren't you white? But you look so white. I kind of always had a sense of placelessness and I didn't quite know how to identify. You know, growing up people would tell me it's the best of both worlds. And I can tell you growing up it was not the best of both worlds because you just felt like you weren't a part of any world. If I only had curly hair and then just dark skin like a normal person, or if I only had green eyes and then I was otherwise a white guy, then like I feel like they'd be able to accept any one of these, but having them together makes it just confusing. I started getting bombarded by all these people telling me what I should look like. My dimples. My freckles. My blue eyes. Green eyes. A lot of people are puzzled by my eyes and my hair. My hair. My hair. My curly hair. I've definitely had people say that my hair should be straight. Mostly the skin color throws people off because I'm pale as a ghost. My mom likes to joke and say that I'm brown on the inside. I just wanted to be black. So I started drinking coffee because I saw my grandpa who was like oil black and I wanted to look like that just so I could be normal and um, and I was drinking coffee and I would and I would tell my grandma like, I think I'm turning colors people would say that I looked normal and what is that even supposed to mean it was just a little bit disarming to hear that some people they don't think before they speak more often than not, I think when people are asking, what are you, they're already projecting their values and their beliefs and their views on you. And by trying to label or define someone, you're just putting me in a box. box. Sorry I don't fit your stereotypical expectation of what I should look like. Come to your own definition of what your identity is. You don't need to have one view of who you are. I identify as different. I am different. I identify as a woman. As a New Yorker. A teenager. I identify as biracial. Well, I'm like a uh, half and half Snapple. Two different races create another one. At the end of the day, it's like, I'm who I am, so that's fine. I identify as human. A human dude. Human. A human being. I'm just a human like everyone else. I identify as me. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.